tub. This is the problem when all my brushes are clean and I have too many choices. What's up lovelies? Welcome back to my channel, XOXO Rajel. As always, I'm RJ. If you're new here, hey, hi, hello. Thank you so much for joining me. If you have been here before though and have not yet smashed that subscribe button, let's do it today. I would greatly appreciate it. Also click that notification bell, then you know every time I upload a new a video. So before we get into the video, I just want to say um, I hope everyone is doing okay. Um, I'm trying to be, I guess, as normal as possible as someone, and I've mentioned this before, that already worked from home. That kind of part of my life is still the same. But of course, having my son here full time and him trying to do schoolwork and have my husband home more often than normal because he's not working full time um, like he used to has just been a bit of an adjustment for me. My daughter who no longer lives at home but works at like a grocery store is still having to deal with the public every day. So my PSA for today is to be nice. They don't want to be there either. <laughs> We're all going through this and so just a little bit of kindness goes a long way. Um, take the time just to say thank you, be respectful of what they are putting themselves through to be there for you to make sure you can get your toilet paper and your milk and things like that. I read something that you know as much as you can order to have things delivered or picked up and keep from going into the stores is a really good idea. I second that. Um, I actually normally get my groceries delivered or go to um, Walmart and pick them up. Um, but the last couple weeks we've just need little things here and there and so I've ran into the store but just because the delivery times have been longer than normal but I guess if you plan ahead <laughs> then you won't have to deal with that uh, like I did but yeah let's let's just all be nice to each other like I said we're all going through this there's nobody right now I don't think that isn't somewhat affected by this so let's be nice and I think that's it let's just go ahead and get into the video so I watch a ton of like new product videos. It's one of my favorite topics. People do the, you know, Smoky Glow does the Yasser Pass. Um, Samantha March, I think, does Will I Buy It. All those I love um, watching because it gives me just a little bit more than just kind of, um, I like to hear other people's thoughts, people that buy even more makeup than I do, you know, what they think of some products. And sometimes I use that to help formulate my opinion about whether or not I want to purchase something or not. And I think, I don't know, it's probably been a couple months ago, um, Sugar pill announced their capsule collections yeah and um, they came out with one and I saw a lot of people talking about it I feel like most people are just kind of like eh, maybe but nobody was really like I'm gonna pull the trigger um, and then they came out with another one I think it was kind of the same thing I really haven't seen actually I haven't seen any reviews of it I have one friend on Instagram that bought it that kind of like was like oh here it is but that was kind of it and so I was on Ulta a couple weeks ago yeah I was trying to use my $10 birthday coupon that I didn't use when I did my big birthday haul and I still had two times points so I was like let's get a couple things and I bought candles of all things did you guys know Ulta has candles um they smell really good very similar to Bath and Body Works with how well they burn but I digress <laughs> anyway so I decided to go ahead and pick up one of the capsule collection um eyeshadow palettes now this is I know there's two this is the second one I'm going to pop in pictures of both of them side by side here because I had a hard time picking which one I liked more but did not want to spend the $42 times two to get them both because it did seem to me like some of the shades were very similar um, if not the same and um, as someone that does not own any sugar pill eyeshadows I don't have a base um, to go on of if I really like them or don't. So I just kind of looked at the two and then I think the second one was in stock and the first one wasn't so that was kind of in the end how I made up my decision. Um, but like I said I thought the colors had similar color stories with some things just being larger than others. So first and foremost I thought it was going to be really tiny. Like I expected it to be smaller than my cell phone and it's actually larger. Um, this is an iPhone 11. And here's the palette for comparison. So it's much bigger than I thought. I actually thought it was going to be this kind of like tiny little thing. Um, I don't know why. I guess, I don't know. I don't know why. And then here is the inside. It does have a mirror right here, which I think is cool because I didn't even realize that. And then here are the shades. There are, how many are there? Three, six, nine, ten shades. They vary in sizes and we have, honestly, this is my first time opening it up. Um, so it looks like three shimmers. I almost feel like this retrograde shade, this shade right here, I almost feel like that could be a blush. Um, maybe I'm wrong. I mean, it does just say eyeshadow. Eyeshadow pressed pigment, 
pigment palette, but just color and size. I feel like that would actually be a really pretty bro blush. Guess what? It is a blush. So it's one blush, four metallics, and five mattes. It says four, but honestly, I'm only seeing three. Um, we're going to do swatches in just a second. So, And honestly, I don't even know if I would call these, to me, when I look at them, they don't even look like metallics. I would say more like shimmer shades. I'm going to try to give you a close-up. So there it is there. So yeah, that this big one, retrograde, is a blush, which is kind of cool and makes sense of why the colors were so similar um, between the two. So yeah, let me go ahead and do some quick swatches. We'll take a look and then we're gonna do an eyeshadow look with it. We're just gonna do a little rat or ratchet, um, see if we think this is good or not. I've obviously already got my base makeup done. Um, I did, I will list everything I use down below in the description bar. Um, I've had a couple people ask me to start doing that and I don't, so I'm going to try to start. <laughs> On the makeup I used, I set to the side so I could take a picture of it. But I do just want to point out, I did finally use the Kylie Cosmetics Contour. It's too red for me. I don't know how well it shows up on camera because I did try to diffuse it with the Morphe one that uh, I have been liking. Um, but this one, again, is too red. If you remember, I took the Jouer one back because it was too red. And I hadn't tried this one. I think I already threw the, away the packaging, so we're just going to make it work. But yeah, I think it's a little too red. Maybe this summer, when I get a little darker, if we can go outside, <laughs> um, then it'll work. But uh, for right now... So, so yeah so let's go ahead and do some swatches I zoomed you guys in a little bit but here are the swatches and now I have discovered that fourth metallic shade they were talking about it is the green I swatched these more in like shade order so it is side eye karma young blood double shot this is the blush retrograde then we have um, Metro Elevate, Moonshine, which is a very pretty duochrome, Sky Rise, and Insomniac, which I didn't realize was a metallic shade until I actually swatched it. So overall, I think everything swatched really nicely. I was surprised at how pigmented the blush is. I actually already have blush on, but we're just going to do some on top of it um, to try it out. So I'm going to start with that first because I didn't realize it was a blush. And I'm just going to use my BMX 220 Radiance Brush from Moda. Okay, it is, um, what's the word? Not powdery, just lots of kick up. That's what I was looking for. I don't know how well it's going to show up. I'm going to go a little heavy. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Like I said, I already had um, a blush on because I didn't realize that was a blush. Ooh, but I really like this shade. I'm even more glad I picked this now because when I originally picked it, um, the other shade was lighter and I don't think that would have been as pretty for my skin tone. So I definitely think this shade looks lovely. I am really excited about how pink and pretty that is. So we're off to a good start. Now I think I can maybe zoom you guys in a teensy bit more and then we'll try an eye look. Okay, so I was looking at the swatches again on my hand and determining whether or not I thought we would do an eye look, two different eye looks, maybe breaking them up, but I think I'm just going to go for it and use just as many shades as we can and do a same eye look. <laughs> Both eyes the same. Yeah, that's what we're going for. So I'm going to start off with my BMX 430 crease brush from Moda. And I'm going to go into that lightest shade, which is Karma. I may have said that backwards. I'm going to put them all up here. And then we'll just X them as we go. So we're going to go into Karma right here. Very pigmented on the brush there. So, so this is a great um, transition or base shade. It's just a little bit more peachy than my skin tone. But I really like putting it down. That looks good. I used the Glossier Concealer as my eyelid primer today, so we're going to see how that works as well. I would almost say, yeah, this is like a peachy toned brown. Now, yeah, this is the problem when all my brushes are clean and I have too many choices. I'm just going to use my uh, small eyeshader. This is also uh, the Royal Lang Moda Brush Collection. We're going to go into the shade, which is Side Eye. And I'm just going to take that in my crease on the outer side of my eye. This almost has a bit of a mauve pinky shade, mauve pink tone to it. 
um, less brown than I actually thought, but I really like that shade. This would be a great shade to do just a really nice romantic eye with. All right, so let's try this uh, fluffier crease brush and we're gonna go into double shot. And we're still working on that outer crease. Put that right on top of where the previous shade went, but I'm going to blend this up a little higher. Right off the bat, I'm gonna tell you, great pigmentation on every shade, and they're blending really nicely as well. Yeah, that was pretty effortless for a blend. That looks pretty nice. Like I said, this is my first Sugar Pill um, eyeshadow palette, and if this is any indication of how they all are, I am definitely a fan. Picks up a lot of colors, so don't forget to tap your brush off. So I definitely got more on this side, um, and it's just because I just didn't tap my brush. Um, it's not a bad thing, it's just, you know, I gotta blend a little bit more on this side. I'm basically just taking a little of the extra shadow, getting it on my brush, and then moving it over to the side just to, um, kind of bring them out just into a nice soft kind of edge. All right, now what do we wanna do? I'm thinking the green for the lower lash line, thinking blue inner corner, so let's go into Youngblood right here. Oh, Youngblood, spelled differently, but I am, I love when I discover new music. Um, I love music, it is just, I don't know, it soothes my soul. And I recently discovered this artist, Youngblood. He's 22, he's from um, the UK, and his voice is just, uh, if you were really into, I would say like 90s, well no, like 2000s, early 2000s, like emo, he's got that vibe. Um, his lyrics are seriously really deep. Um, he's got a message, you know, he's not just kind of shouting and it's just, he's so refreshing. I did a deep dive into his, um, into him on YouTube. Also, you guys do not mind my lashes. As you know, like for my birthday, I went and got lash extensions. Of course, with everything that's going on, I can't get back to my girl to get them filled. Also, you can't just like, you know, grab a lash extension and pull it out. So I'm just trying to let them kind of grow and fall out naturally. So yeah, that's why they look crazy. But yeah, he's just, He's moving my soul right now. I did a deep dive on YouTube and watched like a ton of his videos and like interviews and just, yeah, I really, I like him. I actually found him because I like uh, Machine Gun Kelly and I was watching an interview with him. The song actually came out like a, like last year around this time, but he was talking about the song and then I was like, he was talking about the lyrics to the song and I was like, oh, I need to hear the song, I've never heard it. So then I went and listened to it and the second, I mean, I like the song anyway, but the second Youngblood started singing, I was like, yep, I'm a fan. I like the shade, it's like a rusty brown-ish red, but it's not so red that it makes me feel like I look sick or dying. I may go back and blend that a little bit more, but for right now, I'm happy with it. So now let's go ahead and grab some of that metallic blue. So I'm gonna use my Omnia. This is the BOM 471. I love this little small brush. I love, you could never have too many small brushes. Um, they just work so well for details, inner corner, lower lash line. I'm gonna put that right here. Yes, pigmentation, and this is just straight on. No. What did I sound like when I just said that? It's like a mix of like Jeffree Star or Manny MUA. That's what happens when I watch too many videos. They influence my speak. But yeah, that looks great. And this is no Fix Plus or anything, just blending it straight on. I didn't want to dip into it too hard. That's why I've dipped back in a couple times. I'm just very lightly putting some on my brush. Kind of blending it in lightly, kind of wisping it. So it's just like a gradual, almost like an ombre effect, but not really. I think I'm gonna bring that inner corner and in just right down here into the lower lash line and then do the green the rest of the way. I 
may have to go in and add a little concealer that did kind of go out a little bit more than I wanted it to. It doesn't look bad on camera, but up like in person I can see it. And I also baked under my eyes today. I'm not sure why it always makes them look so much drier than normal. Um, but this blue, <laughs> this blue I am liking. So now let's grab another small brush. This is also an Omnia brush. This is the BOM 431. Another little guy, perfect for the lower lash line. So that green, which uh, green is Insomniac and blue is Skyrise. I know I kind of went over them earlier, but I want to do it as we're using it, just so we don't forget. Why won't I wipe that right in my eye? Good time. I think it's interesting that the blue and green are some of the larger pans in here. Like traditionally you would think it would be like the browns. Doesn't show up on camera too good, but in person it looks good. I think the lights are just blowing it out a little bit. I believe I have some green eyeliner. Let me look for that, put on some mascara on my lower lash line and I'll be right back. Okay, so I couldn't find an eyeliner that I thought was spot on close enough so I went ahead and just used my Marc Jacobs nude liner and then I did Bad Girl Bang um, from Benefit on my lower lash line and I went ahead and just put it on the top too because my lashes are kind of like they're just right here in the center <laughs> there's no lashes on the inner corner or the outer corner those have fallen off I mean my natural lashes are still there but the extensions have fallen out so just to kind of make it a little bit more nice because I don't want to stick falsies on um, with these still on my eyes. So yeah, this is the finished look. Let's uh, take a closer look and then I'll give you guys my final review. All right, so my final thought on the Sugar Pill Capsule Collection um, C2 is a thumbs up. First of all, I want to say that the palette is, I think I mentioned this in the beginning, but it's definitely a lot larger than I thought. For some reason, I thought something was going to arrive and it was just going to be really tiny. And even though I still wanted to try it out, but I did expect something probably about half the size. So for it to arrive and for it to be the size, I am really um, happy about that considering the price, um, which I believe is $42 at Ulta. Uh, regular price. Second off, the colors, everything swatched really good. And so for me, I think you can generally tell if an eyeshadow isn't going to perform very good if the swatches are super patchy. Sometimes it's not always true, but as a rule of thumb, if it's a really shitty swatch, it's not going to look good on the eyes. These all swatched really nicely and performed amazingly on the eyes. I'm super impressed by the blush. Um, I really like this color and it's definitely something that I think I would reach for even if I wasn't using this palette in a look, which says something, you know, you got to get this out too. This blue is giving me life. Like I have some blues, but this is just the shade, the shimmer, I really like it a lot. Uh, I like how well everything blended together. So I don't think any of these are quite light enough for an inner corner or brow bone highlight. Elevate is really pink. So depending on the eye look you do, you may be able to use that. I don't think it would work with what we're doing today. In all honesty, the shade side eye was really pretty. It was just a soft, really romantic pink shade that I would like to use in another look on its own with maybe just a little bit of brown and probably in all honesty that Elevate shade would look really pretty. That's just a great like date night um, soft eye romantic look like that will probably be the next one which makes me excited like a lot of times when I use a palette like I'll pick out four or five shades and I'll do an eye look and I'll really like it but I won't feel inspired to go back and try like different shades sometimes so it was really cool to see something right right off the bat that I was like oh no I can't wait to use this so yeah I'm super excited to um, go back and do another eye creation with that uh, I doubt I'll get it done before this goes to edit um, but uh, maybe that will be just an Instagram look uh, that I do so overall I am I already said it I'm really pleased I'm really excited I'm like more excited than I thought I would be. I haven't felt like super excited about makeup recently, even like with a lot of the new launches and stuff. I don't know if it's just kind of the, the times or just me. Sometimes I get in these moods where I like look at my collection and how much I have and I feel like I don't need to be adding to it. And so it makes me kind of take a step back when things are announced, but 
you know, like I said, the packaging on this really is what drew me in and made me want to try it out. And Sugar Pill did not disappoint. So I would love to know if you guys have tried the other one. I feel like, like I said, I feel like the colors are kind of similar. So I don't think I'd pick that one up. But if they in, um, release like a third one that's maybe has more purples or some other, you know, color story, color story, that's the word I'm looking for. Um, I would most definitely be interested in checking that out. Especially, like I said, I use a coupon for it. So $42, I think is definitely a little high for what, what did I say now? So we have nine shades and a blush. So price wise, it's a little high. Um, it does have a nice mirror on the inside. The packaging is uber cute. So, you know, I'll buy another one if it's, if I like the color story. So yeah, that's it. Okay. So as I stated, um, down in the description box, I will list all the makeup I am wearing today. I will also put a link to a young blood. You guys need to check him out. And I think that's it. As always, I love making these videos. I so hope you guys love watching and until next time, bye bitches. <laughs> bye guys.